What's up guys, James here with Fun Fact of the Day. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, learning lots and getting stuff done. Now, today we are talking about the latest and scariest thing on the market, coronavirus. Now, today I'm gonna fill you in on the details of coronavirus itself, as well as how it affects the body, how it spreads, and everything else you might need to know about how not to get it. So, if that sounds interesting to you, let's get into it. So what actually is this new coronavirus? Well, in order to understand that, we're gonna have to get some background information on what a coronavirus actually is. That's right. The coronaviruses are actually a family of viruses. It's not just this one new thing. Coronaviruses have been around, or they've probably been around forever, but they were discovered back in the 1960s, starting with a few variants of the common cold, and then in more recent years we've found things like SARS, MERS, and a couple other ones you've probably never heard of. And then, of course, the new one. These coronaviruses are a type of RNA virus that infect your cells and cause respiratory or breathing problems. Essentially how it works is the RNA virus inserts that thing called RNA, which is essentially a messenger, into your cells and it tells your DNA to create more coronaviruses. If we were to take the name literally, the coronavirus cells would be the frat guys who peer pressured the other new frat guys to go out and buy a whole bunch of new coronas for them. One thing that makes these viruses a little bit more interesting than a lot of other viruses is that they are encapsulated in something called a viral envelope. Now, this envelope is used to protect the virus from outside attackers, which would be our immune systems. Now, these viruses are much different than the viruses we're used to seeing in our spam email folders because those didn't come in envelopes. Now, that was a lot of scientific mumbo jumbo right there. So, what does that mean to you? Basically what it means is that if you get the coronavirus and you're under the age of like 90 and you don't have any serious other medical conditions that have killed your immune system, it's probably going to present itself as a cold. You might have a fever, runny nose, cough, maybe even a sore throat, because it is exactly that. However, for the select few out there who can die from this horrible virus, they do so in a very interesting way. So you're probably wondering, how does this common cold style virus actually kill people? Well, what ends up happening is the people who are susceptible to this particular coronavirus end up having their respiratory system inflamed. That's one thing that the virus does. It attacks the lungs and the areas around it. So when that happens, the lungs and the areas around it create fluid, excess fluid, and that fluid gets in all the wrong places, and it can cause one of two things to kill somebody. Basically, both of these things stem from something called ARDS, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, which is essentially your respiratory system being distressed. Now, the two ways that it can kill you are, number one, pneumonia. It can actually cause all that fluid to fill up the little air sacs in your lungs called alveoli. And that makes it very difficult to breathe, and most of the time people are okay, but like I said, if you don't have a very good immune system or it gets you really bad, it can eventually be fatal. Now, the second way that it can kill you, which is much less common and much more specific to these coronaviruses, is this ARDS, this respiratory distress that you're having, is going to cause a lot of interstitial fluid to build up around your lungs, not necessarily inside them like pneumonia, but around them. And the way lungs work are those little air sacs that we were talking about before, the alveoli, they transfer oxygen into the blood that flows next to them. So imagine my fist is the air sac and my arm is the blood vessel. The oxygen that we breathe goes into this little fist and it goes through my skin into my other skin, which is the blood vessel, and gives it oxygen. Now what happens is, all of that extra interstitial fluid that's floating around, it kind of gets between these two. And so there's fluid floating around all over the place, and that makes it very difficult for your body to transfer the oxygen from your lungs into your blood. And that is the, the real issue with coronavirus and why it's so scary. So. 
What they end up doing, usually in hospitals at that point, is they'll put you on something called a respirator, which is a machine that helps you breathe much more deeply. Now, this isn't a very pleasant procedure, and usually they have to keep you on this for a number of days or even weeks until all that fluid washes away and stops being there so that you can actually breathe on your own again. Now, I want to remind you real quick, I'm not actually a doctor. I'm just a guy who researched all of this information and is presenting it to you in a neat, orderly fashion. But if you think that you might have coronavirus, you should definitely go talk to your doctor over the phone before you actually walk into his office and infect a bunch of random old sick people who could actually die from this thing. Now, how does this particular COVID-19 coronavirus actually spread? Originally, it came from, or it's theorized to have come from, either a snake or a bat in Wuhan, China, and then kind of converted to a human version of the virus. But now that it's a human version of the virus, that whole snake-bat thing, it doesn't matter anymore. If you are worried about getting coronavirus, it's probably going to come from somebody else's saliva, human-to-human -human contact, bodily fluids. So for all of you who had a great Valentine's Day last week without me, Ha! Who's the happy one now? <laughs> Anyways, how do you avoid it? Basically the same as any other cold, you gotta wash your hands and avoid sneezing on people's faces and avoid having your face sneezed on. As long as you can do that, you should be okay or you'll get unlucky and you'll probably end up with a coronavirus cold. Now, real quick disclaimer for anybody terrified and watching the news. The problem with the stats on the news for like death statistics and things like that are that most of these coronavirus cases are going undocumented. They're not, people aren't going to the hospital when they get a cold, even if that cold is technically coronavirus. So it's gonna look like the percentage of death rate is much, much higher than it is because the only people going to hospitals are the people who have it really bad. So keep that in mind, there's no need to panic, wash your hands a lot, and you should be just fine, probably. Now, if you enjoyed this video at all, click the subscribe button down below, click this video right here because it'll be an even more fun video, and then click this video right here if you want to learn how to make your own YouTube videos just like this one. And I hope you have a sick rest of your day.